Chris, you can see behind me here that crews and organizers are breaking down. The stage is broken down. Everything's cleaned up after the End Poverty Now rally in March that took place here at East 45th Street and Superior Avenue today. It brought together 28 different groups who all just came to the convention wanting their voices to be heard. Prophets of rage rocked the crowd at the End Poverty Now rally. After they wrapped up, the group of approximately 300 protesters started their march towards downtown from the stage at East 45th Street and Superior Avenue. Five, six, seven, eight. America was never great. This event brought together a hodgepodge of protesters supporting a variety of causes. We saw protesters with Black Lives Matter, a pro choice group, and protesters calling for reforms to the health care, education, and justice systems. We asked them why they came to the Republican National Convention. They told us, even in this age of social media, showing up still matters. I felt obliged to be part of this. People have given their lives for this country. The least I can do is stand for health care justice and all justice for all peoples. Um, I've done social media. Um, I've taken pictures even while being here, but there is something significant about physically bringing your body to a place and space that speaks beyond, you know, sometimes what some things on social media can, can say. If the Republicans were to gather here and, and nominate Donald Trump without other people coming here and, and saying that it doesn't speak for us, uh, you know, then you know, something really very valuable would be lost. So. Now, this rally in March was not without controversy, but it had nothing to do with what went on today. You may remember the city denied their original permit request. So the organizers sued and won in federal court just a few weeks ago, and after that, the city allowed them to have this rally here where they wanted. Chris, Danita.